All right, so um, our first step is going to be we're going to power down that Synology uh, NAS. So like all Synologies, go ahead and log into it. You're going to click on the little uh, avatar icon of yourself. Uh, go ahead and hit shut down. Hit yes. Wait for it to power down. Once you power it down, unplug all the cables behind it. And then we're going to set up on the table and get these uh, M.2 drives installed. All right, you guys, we have our two NMVME drives, and we have our Synology here. This is a DS918 Plus. We're going to go ahead and turn this upside down and install these two M.2 drives and do some read and write caching. So now that we have these slipped over, go ahead and take these protective covers off, and then we're going to get our two drives here and open these up. And it's very simple. Go ahead and take them out. And you're gonna slide it right where the notch is supposed to be. And make sure it's firmly in there and go ahead and push down. And then push that pin plastic uh, piece down a little bit just to make sure it's in there snug. And then our second one. Now, if you only wanna do right uh, read caching, you only need one of these, but if you want to do read and write, you need two. So keep that in mind. Um, if you want to do read and write caching, you're going to need two of these because they're going to go on basically like a RAID 1 um, for that. So now that we have these put in, we're going to remove these cases off. We don't need those anymore. And then we're going to put our protective covers back on. We're going to boot this Synology back up and then we can configure it for read and write caching. Okay, so we got the two M.2 drives installed. We booted the Synology back up, plugged, plugged in all the cables again. Now we've gotta go to our start menu here and go to storage manager. So we're gonna load up storage manager, go to SSD cache, and then we're gonna create a read and write cache. So make sure that's selected because we have two of them in there now. So select both drives here. Hit next. Uh, select RAID 1. So if one drive, and that's in RAID 1 is if one drive fails, the, it can still operate because there's a second one. So hit max, which is what it is. Hit I understand. What this is going to do is going to wipe both of those SSD drives completely so if you have any data on them obviously back up that data before you reuse it um, so now it's creating and mounting those two drives and creating a RAID 1 with those two once that's done it's automatically going to start working um, so that read and write caching is automatically going to be there so um, let's just wait a little bit and, and come back okay you can now see our SSD cache 1 is now set for normal status Go ahead and hit your arrow, and you can see we already got read and write. Wow, look at that, real time. Uh, read and write uh, with our RAID 1 uh, caching all set up. Um, so yeah, that's gonna really help you a lot, especially when you're reading and uh, uploading a bunch of files to your uh, Synology. This is really gonna help that performance um, and bandwidth as you're uploading and writing things to your Synology. Um, all right, you guys, that's it.